Tricks advertisers used to fool us. Everyone's aware of McDonald's false advertising, but there's actually a lot more companies and we're gonna find out the different ways in which they do that. So without further ado, let's jump into it guys. Let's do this. Okay, the first way they trick us is that they actually use antacids to soft drinks to make them look fizzy. So most carbonated drinks, after a while, they actually get pretty flat and in a photo shoot, it takes some time. So I mean, I'm sure they're not gonna open a can of Coke and then try to take a shot of Coke. That sounded I'm sure they don't open up a can of Coke, put it in a cup, and then try to take like a few photos of the Coke. It's not gonna be bubbly, so they put antacids. And these tablets, when you put them in, they actually create a ton of fizz, and I guess that's how they make them look so carbonated and delicious. But in reality, after a while, it just gets flat. Okay, the second trick is that they actually heat up wet cotton balls to get that nice steam that you see in those photos. As you guys can see in the photo, there's a wet cotton ball behind that potato. So if you were to take the photo from the front, it just looks like the steam is coming out of the potato. I think this is actually genius, even though it's so manipulative. But then again, they are advertisers, so they know exactly what to do. They've been doing it for years. They know the art of manipulation. I mean, it says the result is something like this. So as you guys can see that, Look at that steam. That steam looks so beautiful. Now that I have it in my head that there's a cotton ball behind it, it's kind of hard to imagine the steam coming out of the chicken. I can just imagine the cotton ball being behind that and I'm just like, the steam is behind it. I guess I could never see it the same way again. Okay, so they actually use hairspray and deodorant to make vegetables and fruits look fresh. I guess it creates some kind of coat of shininess around it. I don't know. That's messed up. Okay, do you guys see that ice cream on the cones? It's not actually real ice cream. It's mashed potatoes. Can you guys imagine that? You're eating ice cream and all of a sudden you taste some potatoes. You're gonna be like, it's just gonna hit you so hard. You're gonna be like, whoa. Oh, this, this tastes like mashed potatoes. This is not even, this is not even ice cream. No, obviously they don't put real mashed potatoes in the product. Just when they take a photo, when the advertisers take that photo, they use mashed potatoes. Ice cream is actually cold and it melts very quickly, especially when there's a lot of light surrounding the shoot. Lights can get pretty warm and then it will melt the ice cream, so they kind of have to do this. It's the only way. Unless they want to shoot in a refrigerator. But look at that. that. That looks so convincing. That looks exactly like ice cream. I, I mean, that's unbelievable. They use brown shoe polish to color the hamburger buns. No. No. Wait, are you talking about like... The food we eat or just the out? No, they're just talking about the advertisers, guys. Don't worry. You're not going to die from like poisoning or something. But it makes so much sense. Like when I see buns on TV. Oh my God. When I literally see like hamburger buns on TV is what I mean. I don't know. They just look crispy on the outside, like soft on the inside. They just look so delicious. They look so soft and so perfectly browned. I'm like, really? I, I never seen a hamburger bun look like that. And it makes sense. Look at this. Okay, so a lot of photographers actually use clay to hold the plate in place. Let's say you want the plate on the side. So they actually put clay underneath and then just stick it in. I get, oh my God. Guys, I don't have a dirty mind, I promise. Hey, you see that milk in that cereal bowl? It's not really milk. It's actually glue. It's white glue. Do you guys know when you were in kindergarten, you'd always use that Elmer's glue? That's exactly what it is. They use it because they. it says that milk would make the cereal look soggy and they don't want that. So I guess they just use glue. I mean, I've been fooled all these years. So <laughs> that sucks for me. I mean, I would have never guessed. I knew it looked too good to be true. But at the same time, I, I still thought it was milk. I just thought it was like condensed milk or something. I don't know. For ice cubes, the advertisers actually use plastic cubes. They use clear plastic cubes. It's not real ice cubes. I mean, this totally makes sense. Like I said about the thing with the ice cream, the studio lights are way too warm and they would actually melt the cubes. I mean, I'm not justifying anything. Like I still think it's wrong that they manipulate the photos like this. It says it's also how they get that perfect cube. They get that perfect cube because it's plastic. So a lot of times they actually stuff roasted chicken or rotisserie chicken with paper towels to make it look more plump and juicy, but it's paper towels inside. It's not stuffing guys. Don't eat it. Don't eat it. Look at that delicious stack of pancakes, am I right? But that's not maple syrup. No, you, you're a fool to think that's maple syrup. Guess what it is, can anyone guess? All right, well, none of you guys got it right. It's motor oil. You know, mo for cars, they put motor oil on it. This is not maple syrup. You know, sesame seeds just look so proportional. They look so good on buns, on the hamburger buns. The sesame seeds are like perfect. You're like, how is this possible? It's because they perfectly arrange them with tweezers. They put them with tweezers. Like they just place them nicely. What? That grilled chicken looks so delicious. Look at that perfectly grilled char, whatever it's called, barbecue chicken. It's because they put shoe polish on it. Yep. Would you eat a chicken with shoe polish? 
Well, you don't have to because it's only for photos, so it's okay, but what a waste of chicken. Hey, why doesn't my burger look like that? McDonald's, what are you doing? What are you doing, man? It's be, oh, you know what? It's because in this photo, like, the burger is not cooked properly. It just cooked a little bit just to brown it. It's still raw on the inside. And we perfectly place a slice of tomato, lettuce, and then we inject some of that sauce. Just so you can see it. Best angle possible too. Okay, so this is just getting ridiculous at this point. Advertisers put lipsticks on strawberries to make them look more red. Why? I mean, we know that strawberries cannot be that perfectly red. So in a glass of milk, they actually put soap water. They put soap water to make it look more fresh. Oh my god, you guys won't believe this. You see how this cake looks so perfect? Like, no cake can look that perfect, especially if you cut a slice of cake. Well, it's because they put cardboard in between, so it holds the frosting. Because in reality, cake would actually smush the frosting. And this is the final result. That's what it looks like. No, there's cardboard on the inside. If you take a bite of that, that's gonna be disgusting. I wouldn't try. All right, guys, and I think that's gonna bring it up to a wrap. Let me know if you guys wanna see a part two of this. I love doing this. It's so interesting to me because I always see these commercials. I always knew most of them were bullshit, to be honest. But with that being said, make sure to click another video if you enjoyed this one or click that circle to subscribe if you are new here. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time on another episode of Reaction Time. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great one and peace out.